Uh, today, I want to uh, we have a look at the problems in homework three and test one. Um, I have graded the, your homework three last uh, weekends. Um, uh, I think the situation is not good. Uh, the average score is only uh, above 50. Uh, I think uh, many of you need to uh, spend more time uh, studying the, the, the uh, uh, this uh, course uh, more carefully. Uh, oh, okay, let's start. Uh, uh, the problem one, uh, uh, there are two uh, in, in Uh, I see someone ask, uh, are you worse than uh, the last year student? Uh, I'm not, uh, last year I, I was not the TA, so I, I don't know the, uh, the scores of the, the, the students last year. Uh, okay, let's look at problem one. Uh, the following are the unit uh, impulse responses of uh, different LTI systems, A uh, for discrete, discrete time and B for continuous time, and uh, determine whether each system is causal and or stable. Uh, so uh, the first one is uh, the uh, discrete time uh, the unit impulse response, uh, H of N, uh, is the, the sum of uh, two terms. The first term is uh, minus uh, one half to the power of n times u of n. And the second term is 1.01 uh, to the power of n uh, times u of n minus one. So we have learned that uh, to, uh, uh, to judge whether the, uh, the system is uh, uh, is causal or not, we just need to see whether uh, H of n uh, is equal to, to zero for all n uh, is smaller than, uh, smaller than zero. So uh, we can see there, uh, there is two steps, uh, step signal, U of n and U of uh, n minus one. So, uh, uh, according to the, the property of U of n, uh, we know that uh, uh, U of n is uh, uh, equal to zero for all n is smaller than zero. And this one, uh, U of n minus one is equal to uh, zero for n is smaller than one. So uh, H of n is, uh, is equal to zero for n is smaller than zero. So this system uh, is causal. Uh, so uh, the solution is here. Uh, the, the, the system is causal because H of n is equal to zero for n is smaller than zero. And then we uh, need to see whether the system uh, is stable. Uh, uh, according to what we have learned, we need to calculate the uh, the, uh, the absolute sum of the h of n to see where, whether the sum is uh, is a finite number or an infinite number. Um, I uh, I give uh, an answer uh, here. Uh, I think that this answer is not uh, is not correct or or with, uh, not uh, so rigorous uh, because if we uh, 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 this term is smaller than uh, this term and the the, 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 the latter one is uh, goes to infinity we cannot uh, arrive at that uh, the the first term we, uh, pro, uh, goes to infinity because it is smaller than uh, this one. Uh, so we can, uh, it is not good to uh, directly 
say that uh, the system is uh, not stable because uh, this term is uh, goes to infinity. So I I have posted an announcement uh, on the blackboard. Uh, we can look at uh, one particular term uh, in the the absolute sum. So uh, the absolute sum of h of n uh, when n up, uh, goes to infinity, uh, we can see this term and goes to infinity. Uh, the absolute uh, sum, uh, the absolute value of this term goes to infinity. So uh, the, the absolute sum will also goes to infinity. So the system is, uh, is not stable. And, uh, the, and then we look at uh, uh, problem B uh, to see whether the system is causal uh, we uh, we just need to uh, give an counter uh, example. Uh, for example, when t is equal to minus two, u of uh, minus one uh, minus minus two, it is um, plus two, uh, it is u of one. So u of one is equal to one and uh, e to the power of two times uh, minus two is e to the power of minus four. So uh, h of minus two is equal to e to the power of uh, minus four. It's, it is not zero. So the system is not causal. And then uh, we uh, see whether it is stable. Uh, uh, for the continuous time signal, we need to look at the abs uh, uh, the the the, the in integral of the absolute integral of h of t. Uh, uh, the, the the integral is from the minus infinity to plus infinity, but here is an u a u of minus one minus t. We know we can uh, see that uh, the uh, when t is smaller, only when t is smaller than minus one, it takes non-zero value. When t is larger than uh, minus one, it take uh, uh, the value of u of minus one minus t is uh, equal to zero. So the in uh, the, the 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 upper limit of the integral is changed changed from plus infinity to minus one and then we calculate the, the integral of the the exponent, uh, exponential signal uh, we can easily obtain that uh, it is equal to exponential minus two over two it is a finite number so it is smaller than uh, plus infinity so this system is stable. Oh, we should say the system is stable, not uh, h of t is stable. Here it is, uh, it is not correct. Okay, let's look at problem two. Uh, uh, determine the, uh, the Fourier uh, series representation of x of t. Uh, in the last tutorial, we have seen a lot of examples uh, to calculate the Fourier series of uh, continuous time signal. So I think uh, this is not hard. Uh, let's follow the, uh, the standard procedure to calculate the Fourier series. Uh, first, we calculate the uh, fundamental period of uh, of the signal, and t is equal to two, and then the fundamental frequency, omega zero, is two pi over two, is pi. Uh, the next, the next step, the Fourier series coefficient, a k is equal to one over t, uh, the integral 
over uh, uh, one period. Here we choose the period from uh, between zero and two, x of t exponential minus jk omega zero t. Omega zero is pi here. Uh, in this problem, we need to discuss the cases uh, for when k is equal to zero and the k is not equal to zero. Uh, when k is equal to zero, the exponential is equal to one. So uh, the integral becomes uh, uh, the constant, uh, the constant number, the, it becomes the constant number of uh, the integral of a constant number. So uh, this term is uh, one half times 1.5. And this term is also equal to one half uh, times one, 1.5. So the result is zero. Uh, I see someone ask, uh, well, uh, do we need to consider k is equal to zero in question uh, uh, two uh, later? I will explain it later. Um, for k is not equal to zero, a k is uh, uh, then a k is equal. Uh, we 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 substitute the expression of x of t into the integral. And so we need to split the integral into two parts. Uh, the first part, uh, it is 1.5 exponential minus jk pi t. So we only need to calculate the integral of the exponential signal. The, ex uh, the integral of an exponential signal is the same exponential signal and with an additional factor on the denominator, and then we take the difference uh, between uh, one and zero. Uh, this part, uh, we can further obtain this part. And then for, for this part, uh, it is very similar. Uh, we need to calculate the integral, uh, integral of, uh, uh, of the exponential minus jk pi t and we take the difference uh, between t, t is equal to two and t is equal to one. And uh, then we obtain this part. So we can uh, uh, further uh, make some analysis. We can see that here is an exponential minus jk pi two. Uh, we know that uh, when we add or subtract a multiple of uh, two pi uh, on the exponent, uh, the value of the, the exponential will, uh, will not change. Uh, you can use the Euler's formula to, uh, to verify the, the, uh, the, the result. So, uh, the 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 two k we can mine uh, we can add two k pi uh, on the expo, expo uh, j two k pi on the exponent then the value uh, will not change so this term is just equal to one so here is an uh, exponential minus j k pi uh, minus one here is an exponential j k pi uh, uh, one minus exponential jk pi minus jk pi. So uh, there uh, we we can put the, combine them together. Uh, we just need to uh, uh, change this term as one minus exponential minus jk pi, and we 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 change the minus sign uh, to a plus sign. So uh, we add them together. Uh, this uh, this is the final result. So, uh, then uh, this uh, this this expression is enough. Uh, here I made some more uh, ar arrangement. Uh, this is not necessary. I, I just uh, show it here. 
uh, we can uh, ex uh, extract an exponential minus jk pi over two uh, in the front, and then in inside the bracket, uh, it is the exponential jk pi over two minus exponential minus jk pi over two. Then, uh, and also here is a, a, a two j on the denominator. Uh, according to the, uh, the the Euler's formula, this uh, this term is the sine uh, k pi over two. So we have this result. Uh, this is not necessary. I just show uh, here how to use the, the, the Euler's formula to make the, uh, the the result more beautiful. And then we have we have the uh, the expression of Fourier series of x of t. Then for the problem three, uh, uh, the same problem also calculates the, the Fourier series uh, representation of x of t. Uh, this problem is very similar to one uh, problem in the last tutorial. Uh, yeah, very similar. Uh, first, uh, we calculate the uh, we calculate the fundamental period. It is four, and the fundamental frequency it is pi over two. Then the Fourier series coefficient. Uh, we can see that uh, the answer uh, here. I I didn't uh, discuss whether k is equal to zero or not. Uh, I see a lot of, uh, many of you uh, have discussed whether k is equal to zero or not. Uh, it is not necessary. Uh, why? Uh, because uh, first uh, we, we, sub uh, we use the, uh, the standard definition of a k. It is one over t uh, integral over a period x of t exponential minus jk omega zero t, and then we substitute the expression of x of t uh, into the integral, and then we calculate the, the, the integral of the exponential signal. Uh, so we can see that uh, the exponential signal, uh, it is uh, the, the integral is also the, the same exponential signal with an additional uh, factor on the denominator so uh, what is the difference between this problem and the last problem? We can see that uh, in the last problem, uh, the denominator can, uh, uh, there is a k in the denominator. So k cannot be equal to zero because it, it will be uh, invalid for, 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 for the uh, denominator uh, to be equal to uh, to zero, but in this problem, when k is equal to zero, uh, the denominator is not equal to zero. It is equal to uh, minus four, so it is still valid for uh, for k is equal to uh, for for k is equal to zero. So we can uh, get a, a unified uh, expression of the uh, of the Fourier series coefficient. So it is not uh, necessary to discuss whether k is equal to zero or not. Um, so uh, let's uh, continue. Uh, then the, uh, this is the, the result of the integral. And then we take the difference uh, between t is equal to two and t is equal to minus two. And then we get this this result, and then we can make some further simplifications. We can see that here it contains a term exponential jk pi, and here it contains another term exponential minus jk pi. Uh, we have uh, we know that uh, the two terms are both equal to 
minus one to the power of k. So we put this term uh, in the, at the front and then, then in the bracket, the exponential four minus exponential minus four is left. Uh, so this is the result we can uh, further write the expression of the Fourier series. And uh, next is problem four. Uh, problem four is the first one is uh, you need to use the utilizing the definition of Fourier series to determine the Fourier series uh, representation of the continuous time signal. Uh, uh, this is, uh, I think this is very easy because uh, we have, uh, I remember that there is a, a, an example in the, uh, the slides of the, the lecture. Uh, the, uh, the signal is delta of t minus k. So I just changed the k to 2k here. Uh, oh, I see someone asked, uh, not necessary to write uh, minus one to the power of k. Uh, you mean, uh, you mean, uh, you mean here? I have write in, in, in this, uh, uh, in this form, uh, or you you ask whether it is necessary to uh, to, uh, to 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 write this step. Uh, if uh, you ask if this step is enough, right? Uh, I think it is better to write it in this form. Okay, if if, we, if you write uh, write the, the result in, in this form, I think it is also okay. But I think it is better in this form. Um, next, the 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 the, 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 the Fourier series coefficient of a k. We use the, the the standard definition of a k is the integral over an a period of x prime of t. I, I define the signal as the x prime of t here because there isn't a, a name for the uh, for the signal. Um, uh, you 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 should know that uh, when uh, when when t takes the value between minus one and uh, plus one, the expression of x prime of t is just the delta of t because uh, in this uh, region, only one, uh, only, only one impulse uh, is left. It is the delta of t. Uh, so, uh, so uh, next we, we, we further calculate the, uh, the, re the result. Uh, we we use the property of the the, the impulse signal, and uh, we we see that when uh, we substitute the t is equal to zero here, and we obtain the this uh, we we arrive at this step, and then we calculate the the integral of a delta function, then it is equal to one. The final the, re, uh, the Fourier series is equal to one half. For all k, so the uh, the the Fourier series uh, expression of x prime of t is equal to uh, is shown here. I see someone asked, uh, uh, "Are you okay in test one?" Uh, uh, Zhe Yuan will grade your your, your test one this weekend. Uh, uh, you will see. Um, uh, the, 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 the next one, uh, problem B, uh, utilizing the linearity and the time shifting property to of Fourier series to determine the Fourier series its representation of the, 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 the 
of the signal f of t. Uh, I have uh, emphasized here uh, to uh, ask you to use the, the property of the Fourier series. I, I see that someone, uh, some of you uh, still use the, the definition of Fourier series to calculate the, uh, the representation. Um, uh, it is not uh, good. Uh, so we can see uh, this pro uh, this signal. Uh, uh, we can uh, uh, see this signal as the com uh, the combi uh, the, the sum of two uh, signal uh, signals. One is the 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 signal in the problem four a, the x prime of t, and another is uh, uh, is this signal. I uh, say it is the 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 the, the below. Uh, the signal below the uh, horizontal uh, axis. So we have uh, uh, this is uh, the x prime of t, and this I define this signal as the x uh, double prime of t. So uh, we use the, the property of the Fourier series uh, x double prime of t uh, is. Uh, is the uh, the time shift version of the x prime of t. Uh, we can uh, so according to the property of the time shift, uh, the Fourier series uh, coefficient need to add an uh, exponential minus j k pi t zero here. T zero is the the unit the units of uh, time shift. Uh, the uh, the uh, T zero is is equal to one here, and also we need to add a scaling factor minus two in front of the uh, the, the expression because it is it all takes the negative value. So uh, we use, then use the linearity of the uh, linearity property of the Fourier series. So we have x of t is equal to the sum of x prime of t and x double prime of t. And the Fourier series uh, coefficient is just the sum of the two, uh, is the, the sum of the Fourier series co coefficients of the two signals respectively. So this is the final result. And next, uh, problem five. Uh, the problem five, uh, consider a continuous time LTI system with uh, unit impulse response as follows. Uh, given an input signal X of T and you need to determine the output signal, uh, the Fourier series representation of the output signal Y of T. Uh, first, we, we uh, similarly, we need to calculate the Fourier series of x of t, uh, fundamental uh, period is one, fundamental frequency is two pi, and the the, uh, the Fourier series coefficient uh, very similar to the, the the last problem. It is equal to one, and so we get the the Fourier series expression of x of t. Then. Uh, we need to uh, calculate the uh, the frequency response of the system. It is the integral uh, of h of t exponential minus j k two pi t dt. Here I I substitute omega omega uh, with k two pi because uh, in this uh, in this signal we can only take the omega, uh, the value of omega k2 pi. Mm. Here we need to, dis, uh, in this problem, we need to discuss whether k is equal to zero or not. Uh, when k is, uh, not, uh, is not equal to zero, uh, then we use the, uh, we calculate the, uh, the integral 
uh, we need to add an additional factor on the denominator. We can see that when k is equal to zero, uh, it will be invalid. So when k is not equal to zero, the, the result is uh, two sine uh, eight k pi over k pi. So we can uh, make some further, further observations. Uh, we see that when k is not equal to zero, uh, for k, uh, when k take any other integer values, uh, the, the, the numerator is always zero. So the result is zero for k is not equal to zero. Uh, when k is equal to zero, uh, we just, uh, this term will becomes one, uh, we become one. So the integral becomes the, 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 uh, the constant integral two, uh, the constant integral two over the, uh, the, the, the region, the result is, uh, the result is uh, 16. So uh, uh, the, the we next we need to de uh, determine the output of the system. Um, uh, uh, because for k is not equal, uh, because for k is not equal to zero, uh, the h, the capital H, is always equal to zero. So we only need to see. Uh, the frequency response when k is equal to zero. Um, uh, so the yt is equal to a, a zero times uh, h, h, h of j zero times uh, exponential j zero to pi t. So the result is a, a constant value. Uh, it is 16. If you only write uh, the answer in, uh, in uh, here, and then uh, you, you will not get a, a full grade uh, because uh, uh, because the, the, the final result is much uh, sim uh, simpler than uh, than this one. So you need to write the final result in in this way. Uh, I see that some uh, some of you ask, uh, is it necessary to change the answer into a sign? Mm, this step is not necessary, but it can help you. Uh, it can help your analysis. Uh, this step is not necessary, but this step is uh, is necessary. Okay. Uh, Maybe we don't have enough time. Uh, let's look at the problems in the problems in text one uh, quickly. Uh, the first one, uh, given a continuous time signal x of t, shown here, and then uh, uh, you are asked to plot uh, the x of one minus t over two. So this is uh, the uh, the, uh, the time domain transformation problem. Uh, oh, uh, the the answer is uh, is given directly here. Uh, to uh, but there is no uh, intermediate steps, so I I just uh, give some uh, steps here. Uh, to uh, to plot the the final result, we first we need to. Uh, 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 we first need to do the uh, time time shift. First, we shift the the x of t to the left by one unit. We have this result, and then we can either do the time re uh, reflection or the time scaling. Either of them can 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 comes can come first. And so here, I just uh, first uh, reflect the signal. From the uh, from right uh, from the right of the uh, vertical axis to the left of the vertical axis, and then we I do the time uh, do the time scaling. So here uh, uh, a one half 
in front of the T means that we need to uh, 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 we need to uh, stretch the signal uh, uh, twice. So the original signal is from zero to uh, to three. Uh, the the new signal is from zero to six. So this is the final result. And uh, and the next one uh, to answer the following questions: whether the signals are periodic or not. Uh, uh, this is easy because I think you can uh, get the answer very quickly. So whether the continuous time signal is periodic, of course it is, it is uh, periodic. The, the, period, uh, the, the fundamental period is 2 pi over pi over 4, it is 8. And the, uh, the discrete time signal, whether it is uh, periodic, uh, the answer is no. Uh, you need to pay more uh, more attention to the discrete time signal uh, to see whether the the signal is periodic. We need to uh, we need to see whether two pi. Oh, uh, let's look at the let's look at the slide here. Uh, to see whether the signal is periodic, we need to see whether omega zero can be represented as, in this form, two pi m over n uh, for some positive integer m and n. So this problem, uh, it is, uh, it is impossible to write the. The, the the omega zero three in this form, so it is not periodic. And uh, the next one, uh, this one uh, is is the the convolution of uh, the convolution of the uh, the two signal. Oh, someone said uh, this one is disaster. Uh, I think this you you, you need to take uh, spend a lot of time uh, to to get the final result. Uh, uh, let u of t be the continuous time uh, unit step signal, and consider a continuous uh, li time linear uh, continuous time li linear time invariant system whose unit impulse response. Is shown here. Mm. It is a, a, a platform shaped signal, and uh, to given given the input signal x of t uh, below, and then uh, determine and, call and plot the, the output signal y of t of the system. Uh, Okay, let's uh, follow the the, uh, the the definition of the convolution. Y of t is equal to the convolution between x of t and h of t, and the, the convolution is the uh, is the, the integral of x of t x of tau times h of t minus tau. So first we need to plot the uh, plot h of t minus tau. This is t h of tau and uh, uh, to plot uh, h of t minus tau we first we need to uh, reflect the we first we need to get the h of minus tau it is the uh, uh, time reflection of h of tau over the vertical axis so uh, the h of uh, h of minus tau is shown here and then uh, h of T minus tau is the time shift of h of t uh, h of minus tau. Uh, we uh, just uh, uh, shift the h of minus tau to the uh, to the to the right uh, by t units. Uh, 
uh, T can be either positive uh, number or negative number. Then uh, we uh, we see the uh, the multiplication of x of tau and x of uh, h of t, mi t minus tau. Uh, this is x of tau, and uh, we need to discuss uh, the cases. Uh, discuss one, two, three, four, five cases. Uh, depending on the location of the h of t minus tau and the t is the uh, the indicator of the location of this signal so when t is smaller than uh, minus one either h of t minus tau or h of tau is equal to zero so the result is zero and then when uh, uh, we shift the the, the signal to the left when t is uh, smaller than uh, larger than minus one and smaller than zero uh, uh, the the the, the non-zero uh, part the non-zero region is from minus one to t so the the, the, the lower and upper limit of the signal is minus one uh, and the t and the the multiplication of x of tau and h of t minus tau is uh, it is tau plus one times one, so it is uh, tau plus one. So we calculate the the integral of a linear a linear signal. Uh, the result is one half times tau squared plus tau. So we take the difference between t and minus one, then we have the, this function. And then uh, further shift the, we further shift the, uh, the, the, the h uh, to the right. So we, uh, this time t minus tau is between uh, minus one and zero, t is between zero and one. So the, uh, uh, so the, uh, t is uh, between zero and one. So we can see that the multiplication of x of tau and uh, h of t minus tau it is is uh, x of tau is one and a. Uh, oh, 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 we need to uh, uh, split the integral into two parts. Two parts. The first part uh, x of tau is uh, tau plus one and the h h is one so the result is uh, tau plus one the the, the limit the, the region is between tau uh, t minus one and zero and the second part it is x of tau is one uh, h of t minus tau is also one so it is uh, it is one and the, the uh, limit is from zero and t and then we calculate the integral and uh, this is the, the result and then we further shift the h to the right this time t is larger than uh, one and the t minus one is it's between zero and one so the uh, the final uh, region of t is between one and uh, two uh, this time uh, both the a x and the h takes the value of one so and the, the integral region is between t minus one and one so the result the integral the result of the integral is two minus t and then when t is, uh, t minus one is larger than one uh, in other words t is larger than two uh, either h or x is equal to zero so the the integral is equal to zero and then we uh you need to plot the the the, the signal of x uh, y of t uh the answer doesn't can uh, doesn't include a, a plot of y of t uh i think you need to plot y of t in your answer
And the next one, oh, we don't have time. Let, uh, let's go quickly. Uh, this is a continuous time periodic signal. Uh, 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 X of T is, uh, is like this one. And uh, uh, determine the Fourier uh, series uh, representation, the fundamental period, the fundamental frequency, and the Fourier series coefficients. Uh, uh, we uh, can uh, obtain the result uh, in this way. Uh, I think this uh, this is enough. Uh, but here uh, there is some further simplifications. Uh, you should uh, note that exponential minus JK pi and exponential JK pi are both equal to minus one to the power of a k. So. Uh, and there is a common factor in the numerator, so we can put them uh, in the, at the front. And then uh, in the bracket, uh, the two term left is uh, one over one minus JK pi plus one over one plus JK pi. And then uh, we can further simplify the, the two terms we can multiply uh, one plus uh, JK pi uh, on both the denominator and the numerator of the first term. And then we multiply uh, one minus JK pi on both the uh, denominator and the numerator on the second term. So then we can get um, uh, a more uh, beautiful result uh, this way. And uh, this is all I want to talk about today. Uh, I see that there is some, uh, someone said that in, in the chat window, uh, someone said that uh, uh, they have lost uh, all 30 marks. Uh, okay, you can you have more. Uh, in the future, we will still will have, uh, have test two and, uh, and uh, and some homeworks, if you uh, do the problems good enough in the future, you will uh, still get a, a good a good mark in the uh, final, uh, no worry. Uh, for uh, someone asked uh, for question one, uh, for question one, how we know do, how we know do summation first and do uh, problem uh, question one. Uh, question one. Uh, let me see uh, this question. Uh, X of okay. Uh, time is. Uh, we don't have enough uh, time to. Uh, if uh, if you ha don't have more questions, you can leave. And if you have questions, I will. Uh, you can stay and ask me. I will answer you. Uh, uh, let me uh, let me see. Uh, so question one. This is uh, it is wrong. I wrote. Uh, someone asked if I wrote x of minus t over two minus one minus. Uh, it is okay. Uh, it is okay. You can. Uh, do summation for a uh, move, uh, move first or do the multiplication. Summation, uh, there, is, uh, there isn't a some summation. You mean time shift or, or something else? Uh, let, oh, let me first stop the recording.